Sterling slithered shoulder to shoulder with the... Robin Van Persie hat trick helped Manchester United to a late comeback against Southampton as Sir Alex Ferguson's 1000th league game ended in a 3-2 win at St Mary's Stadium. Reigning Premier League champions Manchester City moved to fourth place in the Barclays Premier League table and level on points with Swansea and West Brom after a comprehensive victory over Queen's Park Rangers at the Etihad on Saturday. Cities are getting back to their stride after struggling at Anfield last week. Goals from Yaya Toure, Edin Zeko and Carlos Tevez handed the citizens a comfortable 3-1 victory in front of home fans. Here comes Tevez. Tevez. And he couldn't quite find the perfect ball for Colour off, but they still have it. And Tevez again. Yaya Toure and Dzeko to see it. And Tevez. It's 3-1, is it? Carlos Tevez claims the congratulations. In other results, Newcastle settled for a draw against Aston Villa, Liverpool falling 2-0 at Arsenal, Swansea City who are second on the table drew 2-2 at Sunderland, Tottenham 1, Norwich 1, West Brom 2, Everton 0, Wigan 2 and Stoke City 2. The third week top 10 of the Barclays Premier League puts Chelsea at the helm with 9 points, Swansea coming second with 7. West Brom are third with the same points but with an inferior goal difference to Swansea. The Reigns from the lot of the same note, Spaniard Antonio Piedra climbed to a surprise win in the 15th stage of the Vuelta a Spana, while fellow Spaniard Jacqueline Rodriguez kept the overall race lead of the bicycle competition staged in Spain last evening. Chris Froome endured a tough day and finished at five seconds behind Rodriguez to slip to fourth in the standings. Comfortable for Katusha, and that this is playing into the hands of Rodriguez. Piedra dominated the 186km state from La Robla to Lagos de Covadonga, claiming the greatest win of his career to date, eclipsing his success in stage 5 at the Tour of Portugal in 2009. Frenchman Ruben Perez came second, trailing the Kajarul rider by 2 minutes and 2 seconds, with Franz Lloyd Mondori in third. Katusha rider Rodriguez was engaged in a cat and mouse battle with red jersey rival Alberto Contado and valved up the grueling 13 kilometer climb to the peak of Lagos de Cavogna, which ended the stage. Despite repeated attempts by all three men to break away, with Contado the most active aggressor, they finished together with Valverde of Movistar just fractionally ahead in 11th spot. He's doing the lead out and Alejandro Valverde is making sure that A, he knows this will be a day of neutral gains between Rodriguez and Contador, but gains for Valverde. Meanwhile, the International Cycling Union says it has been contacted by up to 20 sports lawyers offering free legal representation following the decision of the United Anti-Doping Agencies to ban Lars Armstrong for life for doping offenses. United States Anti-Doping Agencies said on Friday it was analyzing the Americans' results since 1st August 1998, including the record-breaking seven Tour de France titles he won between 1999 and 2005. But the UCI Cycling's governing body is set to endorse the sanctions and has asked United States anti-doping agencies for a reasoned decision before taking any action. The U.S. cyclist strongly denies the claim but opted not to contest United States anti-doping agencies' drug charges, saying he's tired of fighting the allegations. Manuya Kevin, GBS News.